here in numbers, um, you're going to hear many boys that concerns about this proposal. And I'm going to take you at your word that if this proposal is approved, hearing that it's not a me, and that I hope that you take what is said here by our school community seriously and hopefully influence the department's decision to introduce a new school into a school community that already exists. And everyone that I have spoken to in within the school community, staff, students, and parents, voice the very same concern. One surprise, and I think this speaks to the Department of Education's motive doing business, which is you decide, you tell us, we react. And I'm hoping that this will serve as an example for how not to do things like this in the future. Roads to maybe.
they're not doing a good job, then bringing in a new school is not the answer. You're going to hear that the programs that these two professionals run in this building are setting our children up for success, that the children understand it, support what they're doing, and want more of it. Please do not interrupt the good work that's already happening here by introducing a new school that's going to take this out of balance only because you don't think there's enough going on here. Let them grow their programs and we will hold them accountable with you if they fail our children. That's how we do it. This group is not in the best interest of the existing programs, not in the best interest of our children, not in the best interest of our community. And I, I know that you're gonna hear that over and over and over again. I am here to be supportive in any way that I can be in my capacity as a council member that represents this community. You need money, they get it. They ask for it, they get it. All they have to do is ask for it. My commitment to you and your team is that I will be a partner with you, but you have got to treat me and my community the same way. Academy, 
and I walked down and I got my diploma. Thank you. 